Kyle Busch also pulling out of his pit stall. First drivers coming down at lap 68. These are routine stops under green at Daytona. And a whole host of drivers now slowing down, coming through the tri-oval, making scheduled green flag pit stops. Jimmy Johnson, the race leader, continues on track. Let's go to Chris. Jamie McMurray saying this car a little bit tight early in the run, a little bit loose late in the run. Going to make an air pressure adjustment to the right rear. Matt Kenseth also coming into pit lane, going to make an air pressure adjustment on that car, saying a little too free down in turn one and two. And now we get a caution. And we understand it's for Joey Logano. Sparks flying below the Shell Pennzoil Ford. We're rolling. Do you want to come to pay road or garage? I can't tell. Come to the, come to the pit. We're all here. Okay. Come out to the pit. 11 consecutive yeah, finishes. It, it broke the rotor off it. To the garage. To the garage. Wow. You see the pieces coming off the car uh, as he comes around. Pieces of tire, pieces from underneath it. <laughs> yeah, pieces of the rotor, if that's yeah. the rotor, you do not want to hit one of those things. Just. Here's a replay of what happened to Joey Logano. Yeah, it looks like yeah, tire that's... went down or something because he, he shot up the racetrack like a tire went down or something broke. Yeah, yeah that thing turned, turned hard right, hard right. We watch right, him right, right there. Yeah, if the car, when a car just shoots up the racetrack like that, you know, yeah, obviously something. Easy, something easy, easy, easy. Keep coming here. Keep coming. And that's, a lot of times, that's what happens right before you're going to make your pit stop. 11th or better in the last six races. Joey had jumped to 10th in the championship entering tonight's race. And as you can see, that lonely drive into the Sprint Cup garage. Uh, under caution for the third time tonight. Toya involved. You see the damage for Truex. Now let's look at the replay at what happened. You look at the, the run Denny has on the 56. It's almost like he got the 56 of Martin Truex arrow loose. He never touched him. But sometimes when you have such a run on a guy in the corner like that, you can, you know, you can get somebody that loose. But I, I'm just, you know, that's what it looked like. I don't know if the 56 just broke loose or. Yeah, because he, you see the 56 almost start to get sideways before they ever touch before they ever touch from that angle, it looks like. Well, what? Well, the well, 18 watch is the, right yeah, there. Watch from the 18 car. Let's see I think what kind he got of a run the damage. 11 has. I think Kyle Busch got a little damage on that right front headlight. That's Kenny in front of him. Oh, oh yeah. get a little tag on there. Hmm. Boy, that Truex, we talked about the opening, had such a good run going the last three races. It's going to hurt him in the points a little bit. Pit road Boy, is closed. The there. leaders will be there when we come back. Jamie McMurray leads one lap shy of 100 at Daytona. <laughs> 34 laps to go at Daytona. NASCAR on TNT. Commercial free from now for the checkered flag. Jimmy Johnson leads this race tonight. He's led twice any other driver. 61 laps out front for him. Kyle Busch, 29 circuits in the lead. But he may have company smoke, soon. Smoke, smoke. Oh, Means oh, big oh. crash. Well, fourth caution of the night, Eric Almarola with damage. That's David Strimmy going down low through the grass. Seems to be the trouble spot over there, coming back to the tri-oval. Yeah, not sure what happened there. They were getting a little racy up front, as we saw the 20 car of Matt Kenseth had begun to gain on that outside line and brought, brought it back and was, was up about fifth or sixth in that outside line. These guys were well back behind them. Um, not sure what really happened there. A little damage yeah. for Greg Biffle on that left side. Yeah, from the door, from the number forward there, you see the fender. Yeah, that's a broken right there. That's too. a bad spot. Arrow wise. Yeah. And it looks like, looks like Scrammy was trying to get to the bottom and Ambrose was there. Yeah. And the wreck happened, there was two wrecks. 
as, as you see it, you saw streaming. Uh, you saw streaming Ambrose up ahead, and then you saw the one car. And I could not, don't really recognize which one it is, but you see Strimi and Ambrose. They get together right here. These two cars, and you see the fi 51 car. I don't know if he gets hit from the behind. I don't think he got um, hit. Or if he just yeah. jumped on the brakes and the thing turned around on him, and he j gets down into the 43 of, of Eric Almarola. A little damage on the left front for Almendinger there. Riding here with Greg Biffle. Yeah, you see that bump right there. Easy, 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 easy. Back it down. Easy, still coming at you. Easy, 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 easy. Good save, good save. He's coming. Cross now behind you. Still outside. Nothing coming at you now. Back off. There you go. I think. It's, I see where the 16 got his damage from. Uh, you see the 16 back here. He. Um, there he oh, is. Oh, it's where they come up. 43, wow, 43 gets right hit him hard. Wow, and that car went up a little bit, and that's about it. And then he took a hard hit in the door. Look what it did to that splitter for David Strim. He just ripped it off the right front. Yeah, I think he had more problems. I think he's got some issues in the rear of that, the rear end of that car because he did hit the wall pretty hard. Watch out. See how hard that rear hit? He's yeah. got some issues back there. You know, and it's almost like AJ in that 51 car, when he saw everything happen in front of him, got on the brakes, and the thing, it's like he's got too much rear brake. The thing almost just turned out from under him. You see him right here. Well, I think he also was trying turned to turn avoid the, the 16 time. car. Yes. Yeah. 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 Fourth caution of the evening. A.J. Allmendinger, who had spent a great deal of time inside the top ten, repairing the damage and now pit stops coming with 31 laps to go jimmy johnson going to be the first to hit the pit lane let's go to marty snyder adam with that very first pit stall on pit road you'll see him come to a stop the car he said less tight than it's been all night long but i need to be a little bit freer still it's going to be fuel only for jimmy johnson chris Jamie Mack thinks he has a car to beat the 48. They're going to take two tires on the 48 and charge them, the one in fuel. Mack only needing four to five seconds of fuel. Brad Keselowski, there he goes. He's out of the box. No tires, Ralph. They call for fuel only and a slight a chassis adjustment to the 18 of Kyle Busch. Fuel only. Thanks, Ralph. Jeff Gordon exiting the pit lane. Went all the way out in to the grass. Not sure if there was any damage. And you see Michael Waltrip facing the wrong direction. He got turned around coming on to the pit lane. As they get Michael Waltrip all fixed up, we look one more time at the situation for Jeff Gordon on exit. Yeah, he had a pretty good run, and oh, Ooh. he's going to probably have to come back in because if there's any dirt or debris on that, on that uh, screen in the front, it's going to heat the car up, so... And those things are like a shovel when you get out there in the grass. And I'm sure there's a lot of debris on the front of that, you know, blocking the radiator. So it's going to be interesting to see if they come in. Uh, you can also already see he's trying to get real close to the 99 to blow it off, but it doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't look bad, as deep as it looked like that splitter dug in the ground. Yeah, and the splitter looks healthy. Let's get that one small place over on the right side. Looked a little bit like Junior's car looked last week. It did. Um, when he got hit by a tire. Here you see Gordon pulling up behind Carl Edwards, okay, trying to get rid of any of the debris there. Yep. And with 30 laps to go, yeah, he doesn't if, want to if come there's back anything right yeah, you don't up on the grill, I mean, it, it will get warm in a hurry. But as you guys said, you don't want to give up the track position. Twelve laps remaining. Denny Hamlin got the free pass under wow. that last caution, and here he is in the top yeah. 15 and very much a part of the equation. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty amazing. Because it wasn't too long ago I was looking at down at Denny Hamlin one lap down. Haven't talked a lot about Clint Boyer tonight. But as we close on 10 to go, he finds himself in position to strike. Marty? Well, that's because he's been in the back of the pack. Oh, on trouble. Purpose, Adam. Crash on the track, Adam. Just Jimmy talking Hamlin about Danny Hamlin. A.J. Allmendinger, Jeff Gordon, David Rudeman, Matt Kenseth all involved. 
Yeah, the 11 uh, car's in there, too. You know, we're just talking about how he had just come back. Uh, and they just keep beating this kid, this, yeah. this guy down, man. That was I'm two big you. hits, really. Yeah. I mean, that I mean, second hit, when you get hit, run into yeah. like that, that is hard. And he took a hard hit last week. Yeah. Matt Kenseth. Kenseth. Led the most laps here in February. When did that's down, which is a good sign. Ooh, 24 in it. Yeah. Wow. And Gordon had been running great. All these guys were right there in that second pack that had just been separated, and Junior was about the cutoff. You see A.J. down on the ground here. Obviously, he's took a little bit of a hard hit, knocked a breath out of him. Uh, but but I, I, they were just behind that pack uh, where Junior and those guys had separated because that's where Denny was. He had just driven up to the back bumper of, of Junior right along there. Sometimes our... If TV just doesn't do the yeah. justice of how hard these cars are hitting the wall. You know, we've talked about how great the, you know, the improvements on the walls and things have been, but <clears throat> guys are still going 200 yeah. miles per hour when they're, you know, knocking the walls down. Yeah, there's there, there's no such thing as a soft wall, even though that's what we call them. Uh, and, and that's what, what we talk about them as. They just, they soften the blow, but there is no such thing as a soft wall. See Denny down on the inside right there. That thing just turns right. Yeah. It's like that something. Was strange. That wow. was really strange. Wow. Kenseth did a great job not running into the door of the 11, but then the 51, you know, just nowhere to go. But you know, for Hamlin, he goes nose first into the wall. Very similar to how he hit the wall in California when he suffered that compression fracture. Yeah, but yeah, that, that, a different that, angle. That, watch, but watch this right here. Here, here he is. The two cars, they're spacing behind him. The two cars behind him. He goes there. I wow. I don't know if the two car got into the back of him and sent him to the inside and he overcorrected. You know, it almost looked like how the car in front of him slowed down. down. Good point. And he turned to the left, and that's when yeah. it, 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 it spun him around. But then, the, uh, and then obviously everybody's trying to avoid him. Yeah. Yeah, watch, watch, uh, Boyer. Get the 11. It looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. Wow. And then corrected, maybe. I, yeah, that's really a strange, strange act. Man, Matt did a good job not hitting that car, but then he got clobbered. See Blaney in that. And Blaney had had a good run. Those guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight in that seven car. Yeah. You and see, he, gets, he drives down like almost like they're slowing down in front of him, but he just, I don't, when he got over there, yeah, that, but you see the, I mean, he didn't have the tires really cut one way or the other. You know what I mean? It's not like he's got a lot of left turn in it or a lot of right turn in it when you look at that left, left you know, front tire. You know, one thing, Kyle, possibly, you know, when he drove down underneath that yellow line, he tried getting back up above the yellow line because of he didn't want to yeah. be on the apron yeah. and, the and you know, going through the trial with the banking being different. I'm sure we'll talk to him and hear what, what happened. Yeah, it'll be interesting to hear what, what happened and what he has to say. Yeah, the 51 just, wow. No place to go, neither did Blaney. Sparks flying everywhere. Yeah, they were very, Denny was very fortunate right there to, to be backing in at the right angle. A.J. hitting him the way he hit him. And, and you watch A.J. hit the 11 car and pick it up in the back. Um, if that had been in the door, that's, that's pretty it, horrific. This hit or that hit. Yeah. I mean, you look at, watch the 20 car here. This is hard right here. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks. And you see Denny's car. If we, if we just stay watching Denny's car, Denny's car gets up next to the wall, and then it opens up to the driver's door. That's the straight. scariest, most vulnerable that, part right and, there. And there's AJ, you know, and there's Oof. no place for those guys to go when you see the 11 car get up in the air. Denny Hamlin, who had battled back from the lap down, was running 11th. Back it down, back it down, in the wall ahead of you. Stay right in the middle, hustle, you're clear. Clear, clear, keep taking 
that's a great job right there by Spotter and Biffle. And, and Bain as well. Yep. Trevor Bain able to avoid the accident completely. And you watch, uh, watch these cars right in the center. A bunch of those guys did a good job. So our fifth caution of the night is now led to a red flag. Second consecutive week, the Sprint Cup Series has gone under red. Last week at Kentucky, Brad Keselowski and Greg Biffle among those involved in a hard hit. And tonight, you see the drivers involved in this one. Look at somebody's got, who's that has got his hood up on the inside Is that there. Rudiman? Looks like David Rudiman maybe coming to pit lane. Green flag back in the air. Jimmy Johnson, good restart in the outside yeah, lane. Yeah, make sure that one was going to work. And it did. He brings Kane with him. For now. Stewart tucked right up behind Harvick and now loses some ground as Ambrose works to the outside. See, that, that's certainly not what Harvick and Stewart wanted to see was both those guys get hooked up and then get to the bottom of the racetrack. Yes. And, and we've not talked a lot about Ambrose tonight, but he has been right there in the top six or seven for the last 30 or 40 laps. And you see that outside lane. Now's the time when we're going to see them start to lean on each other, start to bump each other a little bit maybe uh, because it's, it's time to go. Ambrose looking for his first win on an oval in Sprint Cup competition. Six laps remaining. I really think if the 29 and the 14 can get clear, they're going to want to get to the high line, because if not, they're trapped down there. There's not a whole lot they're going to be no. able to do between now and the end of the race. With him just running door to door with Ambrose and, and, and the guys and, and Clint Boyer right beside of him, you know, there's nothing. There's nowhere. They're boxed in. You've got the yellow line to the inside, the out of bounds. And here goes Jimmy to I the outside. I believe that opens Harvick up that inside. His, yeah, I can't believe it did that. And, and just, just left his teammate like that. Well, you must think you've got a strong car if you can do that. And here's his teammate to the front. Casey Kane wow. making that inside groove work. Ambrose trying to push Johnson back out front. Wow. See, who would have? Who, I, I, yeah, I don't. I, don't, I don't certainly know. don't understand that that, uh, that move. But yeah. this is where you try to get rid of Jimmy Johnson, as far as. Oh, and, oh, and there, there goes, goes Kane Casey. out of line, yep. spinning down to the Again, inside on the back straightaway. Oh, oh, hard, hard hit on hard the inside hit. wall. Yeah. But I was going to say, this is where you try to get Jimmy Johnson in the middle of the pack, get him yes. away from the front. Looks like Ambrose got a little bit of that. Smoke on the right front for the nine car. 29, 48, 9, 29, 15, 14, 1. Well, that was a that was a hard hit to the inside wall there. Well, Casey has not had much luck on these. Uh, he's never won one. More than 30 speedways, starts. But he's been dumped a couple times this year, too, I believe. Absolutely. All three events now this season. Yeah. Hey, guys, so, I think this caution to the expense of his teammate was a gift to Jimmy Johnson. I'm like you guys. I, whatever he did there, it was not the right move. But you heard David Hoots, the race director, calling the lineup out. Yes. And what that is, that's where the drivers were when they crossed the last scoring loop at the point of caution. That lineup is critical on this restart. Kane able to walk from his car, get in the ambulance. He will make the mandatory ride to the infield care center. Here they are off a of turn two. Wow. Oh. Yeah, he just got body slammed yeah. to the outside. I don't, I don't know what Ambrose, what exactly happened to Ambrose, but Ambrose just changed lanes suddenly and just body slammed him. And I don't know if Ambrose run up on the 48. I think he um, was going to the middle. And he seems to be headed there, and he sees the 48 come uh, over and tries to. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, the 48 tapped. Yeah, the 48 kind of forces him over, 
uh, and forces him right into the side of Casey and just body slams him. And this is, you see the wall kind of take that, absorb some of that energy in the front of this. Uh, and still look at the car. Yeah, front of this Gen 6 take it. And that's that's. I think a, we a both hit back there when it wasn't there. Yes, when, and that's a tough. Yeah, but it, that, that's yeah. a tribute to this Gen 6 car too. Anxious moment for Kevin Harvick. This is just typical. You're getting down to the last few laps, and you've got to take anything you can get right now. You know, I, I think we heard we heard some things from Junior earlier. To say people say Junior has to be more aggressive, or Junior was going to be more. That's just being aggressive late in the race, right there. Yep. Let's go to Chris. So, what do you think? Uh, you think 14 jumps on the high side as quick as he can? <laughs> I mean, you have to, don't you? You have to. You, you have can't to do follow something. him. No, you I mean, can't follow you know, him. you got to say, hey, Kurt, I'm going up high. Go with me, you know, in the 78 car because, the, I mean, Jimmy Johnson's just needs a class of the field right now. And those, that car is so strong, you're going to have to do it in a hurry. Yeah, and, and you know, if you're if you're back past sixth or seventh, this is not Talladega where you've got time to, to make something happen on, on a green-white checker. It doesn't seem to be or never has been historically. Let me let me. Oh, they'll get five wide on the back. Bench. Yeah, you got to make something happen in these first in this first little bit here. Front three rows, you got three drivers looking for their first win of the year: McMurray, Boyer, and Kurt Busch. And there they are, four wide behind them. And because you've got to, you've got to make something happen right here. Wow. Starting to make it happen there, shuffling down the back straightaway. Jimmy Johnson once again able to gain the top spot. Strong. Man, that is strong. That's a, that's a power I mean, move by know, that 48. And, and, and nobody can do anything. You know, it's easy to say, well, you got to do this and jump on the outside of them. You can't get to it. No, that was a power move. He just powered away from the pack as they come down through there. You got to get wide. White flag is out. Next flag will decide it. Wow. Tony Stewart feeling good, and how about Kurt Busch in that outside lane with help from David Gilmore? Oh, here we, we go. We got go. trouble. There over. we go. That's it. Like I said, you lead at the white. That's it. You're good to go. But they may no race to the finish. They're yep. going to let them race back here. That happened over in turn two, so they got plenty uh, of room. Wow. Right. Let them race, boys. Hopefully they're cleared when they get back down there. Tony Stewart won this race last year. He's won it 29, times. shoving the 14. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but through turns three and four for the final time. Off the corner, here comes Jimmy Johnson. He's dominated the race. Now he can see the finish line. That's Bush in the outside lane. Not making a move. Oh, Trouble behind somebody turned him. Danica. Danica and others. Jimmy Johnson gets the win at Daytona. Yeah, she got turned right there. That was that was a dominating performance by the 48 yes, team tonight. Yes, it was. Let's see. Thank you. That's another race, the last three or four races, and, and I know people get tired of it hearing us talk about him, but the last three or four races, he's dominated these races. Yeah. It's, it's, he's not just won them, he is, and he's lost some of them, just like last week at Kentucky, but he dominated that race. You think about Pocono where he did win, Dover where he didn't get the victory, black flag late, certainly last week, as you mentioned, at Kentucky, and here tonight, leading 93 of 161 laps. You saw the machine of Kyle Busch parked on track, and there he goes, the long walk back toward the garage. How many times have we seen this storyline play out? A huge crash coming to the checkered flag. Had two of them on the final lap. Carl went across to get scored. He is back in the 26th spot. Another bad week for him. Yeah. You know, he's not happy about that. And, boy, and this will shake it. up the points. This you know, is we talked shake about it, up, yes. it. You know, we're looking at some guys plus five, plus six. Uh, Kurt Busch is up to ninth, uh, 14th up to 10th. Let's go back to that final lap. Jimmy Johnson leading and look behind him. This is the, the first wreck after the white flag. Yeah. Carl just gets, just as we saw, just as we saw the five car of Kane get slammed and sent to the inside. Carl got slammed going the other way and got slammed into the outside wall. No caution. 
after this. You see Carl right there yeah, it looks as like the 13 car moves up on him yeah. and, just, and sends him around. Yeah. Scott Speed, Bobby Labonte out there. Joe Nemechek nowhere to go. Like David Reagan, barely able to sneak by. And because all of this happened well behind the leaders, and it was over in turn two, NASCAR said, let them race back to the line. Give them a finish. Yeah, that was good. That was, I'm glad they did that. Great for the fans. And the track was clean. And obviously, they were going to, next time they came back through this corner, they were going to be under caution. Yeah, yeah, slow down. So we've looked at wreck one on the final lap. Now here they are coming off a of turn four. Yeah, you see uh, Kurt Busch go to the high side. He's got Earnhardt, Patrick, and Ooh. Danica gets just tangled up with the, the 38, 38 car. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, like I said, once that starts happening, Ryan Newman nowhere to go. You see the damage for Jeff Burton. J.J. Yaley involved in an accident. Yeah, it's, it's just, I can't tell what happened. You know, David Gillen was right there in the middle. Like, there's nowhere he oh, could really go, but. Man, Kyle Busch took a hard hit up into the 13 oh, car. Newman but, gets clobbered by Burton. Yeah, and, and at that point in time, Danica gets turned down across the racetrack, and as she's coming down, she clips a car. You see her come down across the racetrack right here, across the hood of Ricky Stenthouse. Turn the 18, watch the 18 turn right here and go straight back up the racetrack, and you can't see it, but just pins a 13 on the wall right here. But uh, that, that Tough hits right there. Yeah, but I, I, that actually helped the 18 as yes. far as, because if, oh, if yeah. he didn't get into mirrors, that 18 was going to hit yeah. as hard as uh, Casey. Yeah, and that 18 was going to hit like he hit a couple years ago when Tony and him got together right. and turned him into the outside get wall right there. and all that, so. Here's the 18 down on the inside. Thinks he's clear, and now all of a sudden you'll see right here. And it happens so fast. 